Hello there! Kumusta na kayo dyan? Nandito na naman si Teacher Christine para magturo sa inyo tungkol kay Jesus. Kaya din na pa tayo makinig ng new lesson. Hi mga kasyara! It's Christian time! Dito na naman si Teacher Christine para magturo sa inyo tungkol kay Jesus. Kaya din na pa tayo makinig ng new lesson. So, pray muna tayo. Okay, mga kids? Ipikit na natin ang ating mga mata. Lord Jesus, salamat po sa araw na to. It's another day para matutulit tungkol sa iyo. Salamat mo kami sa araw na to. Just name me pray. Amen. Mga kids, maglikap muna tayo kung anong mga natutunan natin for the month of July. So, nakaalala yun mga kids? Ang unang lesson natin ay God is with us. So, trust God. Pangalawang lesson, God gives us what we need. So, trust God. Pangatlong lesson, God gives us strength. So, trust God. Pangapat na lesson, God saves us. So, trust God. Panglimang lesson, God guides us. So, trust God. Parati tayo magtitiwala sa Diyos. Amen, mga kids. Next naman ay ikap natin yung natutunan natin for the month of August. Si yung nakaalala yun? Ang unang lesson natin ay tungkol kina Shadrach, Meshach, at Abednego. Sila yung ano nanindikan sa tama. Armor with the truth. Ang second lesson naman natin ay tungkol kina David at si Goliath. Si David ay nagtiwala ng lubos sa Diyos na matatalo niya si Goliath. Armor with justice. Ang pangatlong lesson naman natin ay tungkol kay Mary na pinanganak si Jesus. At dahil sa pinanganak si Jesus, nagkaroon ng peace. Armor with peace. Pag-apat na lesson naman ay tungkol kay Jesus. Kasama niya yung mga disciples, yung naglakad si Jesus sa water. Naalala niyo ba, hindi lupos nagtiwala si Peter, kaya nahulog siya sa water. Armor with faith. Kaya kailangan magtiwala tayo ng lubos. Amen mga kids. Ang panglimang lesson naman natin ay tungkol kina Paul at Silas. Sila yung nakulong. Naalala nyo pa mga kids? Kinulong sila pero still, nagtiwala sila kay Lord at nagpraise and worship pa sila kay Lord. At dahil tuon, nasave si Jailer dahil patuloy sila nagpraise tungkol kay Jesus. Armor with salvation. Amen? Mga kids, i-recap din natin yung natutunan natin nung nakaraan for the month of September. Ito'y tungkol kina Anadias helps the world. Jesus' power help us do hard things. Kahit mahirap kawin, sumunod pa rin si Anadias sa utos ng Diyos na tulungan si Saul kasi may plano nga si Lord kay Saul at yun ay makapag-preach siya tungkol kay Jesus. Amen? Ayan, this is it na for a new lesson. Yay! Ready?
Nandito tayo mga kids! Mga kids, ang topic natin for this day ay tungkol kay John at si Peter. Ang title, John and Peter Teach About Jesus. Makikita natin sa Acts chapter 3 and 4. Ang Bible first natin mga kids for this day ay Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29. He strengthened those who are weak and tired. Wow! Ayan, simulan na natin kung ano yung pwede nating matutunan sa araw na to. Pasahin na ni Teacher Christine sa Acts chapter 3 and 4. Elaine Baker is healed. One day, Peter and John went to the temple at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The hour of prayer. There at the beautiful gate, as it was called, was a man who had been lame all his life. My kids, yung taong yun ay disabled. Every day he was carried to the gate to beg for money from the people who were going into the temple. Yung taong disabled ay laging nandun sa temple humihingi ng money sa mga taong tumataan. When he saw Peter and John going in, he begged them to give him. Nakita ng disabled si no Peter at si John papunta sa temple at humingi siya sa kanila. They looked straight at him and Peter said, Look at us! So he looked at them, expecting to get something from them. But Peter said to him, I have no money at all, but I give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I order you to get up and walk. You lang si Labi, the Peter. Then he took him by his right hand and held him up. At once, the man's feet and ankles become strong. He jumped up, stood on his feet, and started walking around. Wow! Napakalini na Peter at the John, yung disabled. Wow! Amazing! Then, he went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. The people there saw him walking and praising God. And when they recognized him as the beggar who had sat at the beautiful gate, they were all surprised and amazed at what had happened to him. Napigla yung mga tao kasi yung disabled biglang nakapaglagat. Amen? As the man held on to Peter and John in Solomon porch, as it was called, the people were amazed and ran to them. When Peter saw the people, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why are you surprised at this? And why do you stare at us? Do you think that it was by means of our own power or godliness that we made this man walk? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, has given divine glory to his servant, Jesus. But you handed him over to the authorities, and you rejected him in Pilate's presence, even after Pilate had decided to set him free. He was holy and good. But you rejected him, and instead you asked Pilate to do you the favor of turning loose a murderer. You killed the one who leads to life. But God raised him from death, and we are witnesses to this. It was the power of his name that gave strength to his lame man. What you see and know was done by faith in his name. It was faith in Jesus that has made him well, as you can all see. And now, my friends,
friends, I know that what you and your leaders did to Jesus was due to your ignorance. God announced long ago through all the prophets that his Messiah had to suffer, and he made it come true in this way. Repent then and turn to God, so that he will forgive your sins. If you do, times of spiritual threat will come from the Lord, and he will send Jesus. Who is the Messiah? He has already chosen for you. He must remain in heaven until the time comes for all things to be made new. As God announced through his holy prophets of long ago, for Moses said, The Lord your God will send you a prophet, just as he sent me, and he will be one of your own people. You are to obey everything that he tells you to do. Anyone who does not obey, that prophet shall be separated from God's people and destroyed. And all the prophets who had a message, including Samuel and those who came after him, also announced what has been happening these days. The promises of God through his prophets are for you, and you share in the covenant which God made with your ancestors. As he said to Abraham, through your descendants, I will bless all the people on earth. And so God chose his servant and sent him to you first to bless you by making every one of you turn away from your wicked ways. Sa labasa ni Teacher Christine, makikita na si na Peter at si John ay nagsishare tungkol kay Jesus. Na bakit sila magtataka kung yung disabled ay nakapaglakat? Hindi tayo sa kanilang power, kundi sa kapangyarihan ni Jesus. At dahil sa faith, sa pananampalataya ng disabled, tayo sa faith niya kay Jesus na pwede siyang pakalingin at yun niya nakapaglakas siya dahil sa tulong ni Jesus Amen mga kids Wow! Amazing mga kids Through faith kay Jesus ay pwede tayong kumaling sa mga sakit na nararamdaman natin God will help us to heal Amen Ayan, basahin pa natin kung ano pa yung mga nangyayari after napakaling ni na Peter at ni John yung ano, yung disabled. Peter and John were still speaking to the people when some priests, the officer in charge of the temple, guards, and some Sadducees arrived. They were annoyed because the two apostles were teaching the people that Jesus had risen from death, which proved that the dead will rise to life. So they arrested them and put them in jail until the next day since it was already late. At dahil patuloy nagsishare sila Peter at si John tukol kay Jesus, they arrested them into jail. Grabe! But many who heard the message believe and the number grew to about 5,000. Kahit kanon ang nangyari, maraming naniwala kina Peter at si John tungkol kay Jesus. Wow! Amazing! The next day, the Jewish leaders, the elders, and the teachers of the law gathered in Jerusalem. They met with the high priest Annas and with Kayapas. John, Alexander, and the others who belong to the high priest family. They made the apostles stand before them and asked them, How did you do this? What power do you have or whose name did you use? Tinanong sila ni na Peter at si John kung paano nila napagaling yung disabled. He 
Hindi kasi sila makapaniwala. Ito ang sakot ni Peter. Peter, full of the Holy Spirit, answered them, leaders of the people and elders, if we are being questioned today about the good deed done to the lame man and how he was healed, then you should all know, and all the people of Israel should know, that this man stands here before you completely. Well, through the power of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified and whom God raised from the dead, they stole that you, the builders, despised, turn out to be the most important at all. Salvation is to be found through him alone. In all the world there is no one else whom God has given who can save us. Nabasa ni Tetsu Christine, makikita na sila Peter as si John ay pilapakita sa kanila na tahe yun kay Jesus Christ. Kaya napakali yung disabled. Amen! The members of the council were amazed to see how bold Peter and John were and to learn that they were ordinary men of no education. They realized that they had been companions of Jesus, but there was nothing that they could say because they saw the man who had been healed standing there with Peter and John. Mga kids, makikita natin sa Pilasa ni Tetsu Christine na na-amaze sa mga sinapin ni Peter at si John tungkol kay Jesus. Dahil alam nila na walang alam si Peter at si John. Wala silang pinag-aralan. Pero nakita sa kanila kung paano, kung kaano karami silang knowledge tungkol kay Jesus. Kaya natiyak nila na talaga nakasama nila si Jesus Christ. Amen! So, they taught them to leave the council room and then they started discussing among themselves. At ang sabi nila, what shall we do with this man? They asked, everyone in Jerusalem knows that this extraordinary miracles has been performed by them. And we cannot deny it. But to keep this matter from spreading any further among the people, let us warn these men never again to speak to anyone in the name of Jesus. Makikita na ayaw talaga nila mag-share si na Peter as si John tungkol kay Jesus. Grabe! So, they called them back in and told them that under no condition were they to speak or to teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered them, You yourself judge which is right in God's sight, to obey you or to obey God, for we can stop speaking of what we ourselves have seen and heard. Ang sabi ni na Peter at si John, hindi pwede sila tiktahan o sabihin na hintuhin nila ang pakshare nila tungkol kay Jesus dahil nakita nila ito sa kanilang mata at kailangan malaman ng mga tao. So the council warned them even more strongly and then set them free. They saw that it was impossible to punish them because the people were all praising God for what had happened. The man on whom the miracle of healing had been performed was over 40 years old. Sa nabasa ni Tetsu Christine, wala silang nakawa yung mga council tungkol kina Peter at si John. Dahil... Hindi nila pwede i-punish o ikulong sila Peter at si John dahil marami nakakita nito kung paano nila pinakaling yung disabled at dahil yun sa tulong ni Jesus Christ. Amen! 
Mga kids, hindi nila napigilan si na Peter at si John sa pag-share nila tungkol kay Jesus sa mga tao. Dahil si Lapin na Peter at si John, hindi nila pwedeng itikil ito sa pag-share kasi nakita nila mismo sa kanilang mata na si Jesus ay totoo. Si Jesus ay nabatay at nabuhay muli. Wow, amazing! Sa ginawa ni na Peter at si John, talagang meron silang boldness sa pag-share nila kay Jesus. Ano man mangyari sa kanila. Kaya ang lesson natin for this day ay manatili tayong tapat kay Jesus na anong mangyari ay magtiwala pa rin tayo sa Kanya, hindi tayo iiwanan. Kano'n ang nangyari kina Peter at si John, hindi sila iniwan ni Jesus. Amen! Hindi nila mapakulong sila dahil marami nakakita, marami nakawitness. At yun ang naging kapangyarihan ni Peter at ni John, kapangyarihan ni Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, mga kids! Ayan, marami na naman tayong natutunan, mga kids! Amazing! Kaya let's all pray na tayo. Lord Jesus, salamat po sa araw na ito, Lord, at tayo pinarimay mo sa amin kung kaano kayong kapangyarihan. Iingatan mo kami, basta manatili kami tapat sa iyo, manatili mag-share tungkol sa iyo, sa mga nawawala, at para Magiwala sila tungkol sa iyo at makilala ka bilang ang gusto. Just let me pray. Amen.